Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier and welcome to this review of the AGP Tech HD Video Capture. Five years ago, nobody really needed HD video capture devices, but now when everyone and their dog has a YouTube gaming channel, it's something of a household appliance. There are a lot of HD video capture devices out there, some very professional and high-end, but is there something inexpensive and yet still good enough to make HD videos from your game systems and other HDMI devices? We keep seeing this device cropping up on searches and we thought we'd see if, inexpensive as it is, it can be any good for HDMI capture. What you get. In the very sturdy box, you get the capture unit itself, an octopus cable for YPBPR input, also component video for non-HDMI devices, an HDMI lead, a small disk of video editing software and a power supply. The best thing about the device is that no computer is required. All the software and hardware you really need to do video grabbing is built into the device. On the front of the box are the socket for the USB stick on the left hand side. Next are colour coded 3.5mm jack sockets for line in, mic and line out. Note, the line in and mic sockets only work with composite video. Next is a status LED which shows green for idle and red for recording. Finally, there's a red button for toggling record and stop. On the back of the device, from right to left, there is a socket for the supplied power supply, YPBPR input socket, input HDMI and output HDMI. There are vents in the bottom of the unit for heat dissipation, but it rarely gets very hot and there isn't a fan inside the unit. How to use it. Grabbing video with the device is the dictionary definition of simple. All you have to do is insert a blank USB stick, put the video in from your game machine or other HDMI device into the input and run the HDMI output to a TV. Once you're set up, you push the button and the HDMI output you see on the screen is recorded in real time onto the USB stick. If you wish, you can also add an extra audio input which allows you to record your voice from a separate microphone to record gameplay video and voiceover together on the recording. From what we gather, this only works in YPBPR mode. Once you are finished recording, just press the button again and the recording is saved to the stick. Technical stuff. The movie files you record are in MP4 format with AAC stereo at 48 kHz, H.264 at full HD 1920 by 1080 and 30 frames a second. The bit rate is 18 megabits per second. There is a maximum file size of 2 gigabytes, but if you overrun, then the device starts another recording immediately. The device records about 140 megabytes per minute and to record a full hour of video, you need to have a stick bigger than 8 gigabytes. The power supply is a simple 5 volt 2 amp supply, which tends to imply you could actually run it on a USB socket. The device is small, being only 110 by 75 by 27 millimeters. Conclusion. Okay, let's get to it. What's it like? Short answer is it's surprisingly good and at the price, very good value. The slightly longer answer is that overall quality of the videos is very good, easily good enough for presentations or YouTube videos. To make the price right, of course, there has to be small amounts of compromise. Technically, the video is not absolutely perfect with tiny, almost imperceptible chromatic aberrations, which in English means a hint of colors along the edges. But in use this is not a problem, and to be honest, for the price you can't expect technical perfection. If you were looking for that, then you're looking at the wrong price range. If you are however a YouTuber who needs to grab games and other HDMI based devices in real time for low cost and really very decent quality, then this would be a very good place to start. Ok, as always, thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe and add your comments below. See you next time.